Hi, this is Chaplain Aaron at the Gardens at St. Elizabeth. Of course, all of us have felt this heaviness, sadness, and anxiety over the events in Ukraine this week. And here at the Gardens, particularly, I I've thought a lot about, and I'm, I'm trying to check on, residents who are from Europe and who have lived through the ravages of World War II. And a lot of them have been triggered by this. And we have some staff also that are from Eastern European countries. And so I felt a, a real burden for, for the folks here. And um, I was really comforted when Pope Francis issued the call to all peoples of the world to observe a day of fasting and prayer next Wednesday, Ash Wednesday. And so I'm going to do it. I'm going to fast all day. And I'm inviting anyone who is able, health-wise, to do that, to fast and pray. And I'm going to arrange a special prayer service. Um, you know, we're going to have Ash Wednesday Mass with ashes. But then after that, I'm going to arrange a special prayer service to simply pray for peace. And I wanted to just share this prayer. This is going to be in the service that I came across that is just beautiful, written by Cameron Bellum. And uh, so here's the prayer. How do we pray for peace from half a world away? How can words solve and soothe real wounds, assuage real fears, wipe tears from real eyes? God of endless compassion, transform our prayers from words into bridges that span the distances between us, uniting our hearts and yours. Every time we turn our keys in a lock, may we remember all who are losing their homes. Every time we embrace our children, may we remember all who are trying to shield theirs from war. May our besieged sisters and brothers be drawn into the arms of the suffering Christ. And may our cry be heard as one voice, ringing out from every corner of the earth, God of endless mercy, grant us peace. Amen.